what? And so I'm up here on the top of this really, really tall, well, at least for around here, it's pretty dang tall ridge. It's so cool. Like over here is private. I walk the line up on top of this hill and I could see there's box blinds down there and all sorts of stuff down on that private. There's a couple of does out there just chilling and it's pretty cool. Um, I'm kind of honing in on this area a little bit more. I drove the roads. I found some rubs that were right off the road, which is kind of weird. Between a couple of these blocks, I've just, I've seen lots of box blinds, um, lots of food plots on the aerials. I know that there's some managed properties in here and it seems like there's more buck sign in the, in the area too, as far as I can tell. So I'm trying to kind of hone in in here, but I'm hiking way back um, into this piece. This hill right here almost just did me in because it was exhausting climbing that, but I'm gonna keep going probably another quarter mile or so. And there's a really deep um, kind of swampy swale that runs through there, kind of long oblong shape. And I'm gonna go check that and see if I can find any deer trails that are skirting it. It's kind of what I'm looking for is, is uh, good areas with good deer movement and then going from there and then trying to find pinch points because right now, if you just go and you look at the most obvious pinch points on aerials, they're just not panning out. They're getting overpressured. Um, a lot of them got real good, nice, easy walking trails into them. So they just don't, they're not turning out to be what I'm hoping that they were. So <sighs> going back to the, the bed hunting mentality where you're looking for those overlooked spots, those thick areas, places where you feel like the big bucks are gonna hide out. And then once you find those, then you start looking for uh, for pinch points and, and, th and places that, that the deer trails get pinched down so that you can get the best shot at something. So, so this corner of pines right here that you can see is um, some state land that corners up tees right here. And it's not public, even though it is owned by the state, you can't hunt it but it's got all, all these pines in it. So I'm wondering if that might be good bedding, but the pin that I had dropped is kind of along the edge of the public in the state land where I thought that the deer might be pinched down at. So we're gonna go walk it and see. Well, <clears throat> didn't see any bucks on coming out of those pines. That terrain funnel wasn't as much of a terrain funnel as I thought it was. There was water in it, but no no trails or nothing skirting it now i'm following this human human trail and it looks like it's coming up to this barn and there's it's beat down quite a bit so i think the people living over here must be walking out here a whole bunch so long story short this one was kind of a bust so i'm gonna head back <sighs> so much so much energy expenditure <laughs> just to find out that you're not gonna wanna hunt somewhere, so. But that's how public land goes. You gotta go check out 15 spots in the hopes that you find one that's that's worth your time, but. Really didn't see hardly anything for deer trails or anything coming out of there it's pretty rough terrain it's some real big steep ridges back in there so yeah i appreciate it it was it was a lot of fun yeah. that truth from the stand <laughs> blaring in my radio but uh i don't have a whole lot of time uh left it's getting pretty dang close to when i need to be taken back off for home but I'm gonna go check a piece of property over on the other side it might not really do a whole lot but we're gonna give it a give it a shot. All right. Well, I didn't go into that spot I told you I was going to. Instead, I went to a spot that doesn't take quite as much time to get into. It's the backside of a piece that I was scouting. Some trails came into this ridge system, so I kind of wanted to check it out. So that's where I'm at now. See. I 
Well, I got up here, pretty much what it is, is you got a couple of real deep cuts coming up. You got kind of a ridge right down the middle, big ridge spine back going this way that this ridge tees up into. And then you've got kind of a bench that runs along the edge here. And that's where I'm finding my rubs is kind of along that bench. Looks like maybe they're side hill in it and then they get up on this bench before they drop down into the next ridge, ridge system. Good to know. Nice thing is there's no people sign up here just because it's such an out of the way little nook. That looked like broken limb. Might have been an old scrape maybe. It's definitely one of those spots. It's not terribly far off the road so it'd be worth coming and checking but I mean you can tell definitely there was some rubs rub sign up on this bench right here so kind of cool I'll mark it keep an eye on it maybe come check it early season see what it looks like well heading out didn't quite hold the sign. I was maybe hoping there would be. Whoa, it's getting slippery. Oh well. Ending story is didn't really find what I was hoping to find at all. <laughs> um, I think I've I found one decent what i would call pinch point in this entire state game area which is thousands of acres you just keep looking you just keep looking a lot of times the best spots are where the best deer sign is in general the best cover and then you can find the best pinch point within that area but and that is hard there's no shortcut to that you can't do that on an aerial map and a lot of times you're just you're left to wandering the woods until you find that sign that leads you to where the bucks are hiding out and that's just how you gotta do it especially in pressured states you gotta head back home get a bite to eat call it a day thanks for watching guys